Hi, I'm Ivan McCulty, river explorer and audiovisual artist. Since I was a kid, we had an aquarium at home. And the hobby consisted of me, the pet shop, and my father, which had to go because he had to pay for what I got. I remember we used to get ram cichlids from Venezuela. We used to get C, uh, CMEs fighting fish and sword tails from Mexico. And we'd put them in the aquarium together. We'd put the colored sand of all colors in there. We used to put bleached corals that were all white and a lot of plastic plants. We'd fill the aquarium with plastic plants. But even back then, I always thought beyond the aquarium. I used to wonder and dream what the places where these fish came from looked like. Nowadays, things have gotten more interesting. We have biotope aquariums, which consist of recreating the habitat or biotope, a location of where the fish or plants or animals that you put in your aquarium come from. And for this, you have to do some research. It's not just going to the pet shop and getting what they have. This is where you have to study a bit and you have to look in the internet, read in books, and study. You have to do some research on what the water parameters are in the river that you're trying to simulate the habitat. What is the mother rock so you can find something similar. Uh, what the trees are that are around that drop, um, if there are any trees, what kind of leaves they have, if they have large leaves or small leaves that fall into and wind up into in, in the biotopes because of the rain or the wind. And all the other animals that live inside the water. Sometimes when you try to recreate a habitat, there is not enough information on it. And this is where I have found that wild aquariums are going to be key in the aquarium hobby. The difference between a biotope aquarium and a wild aquarium is that a wild aquarium is done in situ. It's done exactly in the biotope. You bring an aquarium with you to the rivers that are close to where you live or farther away. You set them next to the river and you get pictures or videos or you document what kind of sand there is, the benthic sediments, if they're rocks, the plants, whatever you see. And you spend the day in the biotope and you get all these materials and fish from the biotope and you put them inside the aquarium with the same water from the river. And that shows people from all around the world what is in that specific biotope, river, or, or lake, any body of water. So this will eventually, if everybody in the aquarium hobby tries, goes out and recreates one, it'll bring all this information that is missing. And it will also, it creates, it changes the cultural configuration of the person that creates it and the person that sees it and makes it makes them appreciate more the planet that we live in and this is the important part of biotope aquariums and uh, wild aquariums is the appreciation we get through knowledge and learning to love every day um, even more the planet that we live in.